Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in a HP EliteBook 840G3 laptop. Now it's quite a simple process, on the bottom here there are 11 little screws under these lugs to take out. So we'll do that first and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, there's not really an easy way to do this, but I'm using a precision screwdriver set to be able to pull these lugs out. So you'll see them sitting here, you just put, put the screwdriver in and pop them out, the screws underneath. Once you have removed all of the lugs, there is actually a hidden screw under the SD expansion slot here to take out as well. Once you have removed all of the screws, this back cover is now going to pop off. It will make some noises that don't sound very good, but it's obviously meant to do that. There's lugs holding it in place. So I find if you put the screwdriver behind the hinge here, you can actually pop this off quite easily. There you go. As you can see, it just pops the back straight off and it gives you straight away access to the two DIMM modules where you can actually put your memory in to upgrade the memory. Okay, before you go any further, it's a good idea to earth yourself on something metal because of ESD. Once you are happy, go ahead and remove the existing memory. In this case, you press the two pins to the side and the memory lifts and comes out. Same principle applies to replace the memory. It's keyed, so it'll only go in one way. Push the bottom in first and just press down. Again, with the second stick in the bottom first and press down, it clicks into place. That has now upgraded this laptop from 4GB of RAM to 16GB of RAM. Let's go ahead and put it all back together. Put the back in first where the hinges are. You'll feel it kind of slot in and then press the rest down. You should feel it kind of line up and you can kind of click it into place as well. Like so. Let's put the screws back in and then check the machine boots okay. Cover there. Let's boot it up and check it works okay. I'm going to go into the BIOS straight away. Okay, the laptop boots for the first time. The BIOS detects that it has a memory change. Okay, so it detects that you've changed it since the last time it's been switched on. Enter to continue. It goes into the BIOS. What we can do from here is we can check the amount is showing correctly. So let's go over to system information. And if we look in the list here, we can see that now there is 16 gigabytes of memory in memory size. I'm just gonna bring you in close with the iPhone here so you can actually focus on that a little bit better. So there is the memory amount, 16 gig of RAM. Let's boot it up and just check we can get onto the machine okay in Windows. All right, so Windows is starting up now. I'll just bring you in close on the iPhone to show you that as well. Installed memory, 16 gig of RAM. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and share the videos around. I'll see you next time. Bye.